Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new video. I'm back today with a Poundland haul. I have got some incredible stuff to show you. I think you're going to be very excited by some of the bits and pieces that I have picked up today. So I can't wait to share with you everything that I've bought from Poundland. And before we get into the video, I want to say a big thank you to Poundland for sponsoring today's video. They got in touch and asked me if I'd be interested in sharing some of their new ranges with you and also sharing with you what the in-store shopping experience is like. So I know some of you may not have been back to Poundland for a while. So what I'm going to do is insert some in-store footage, some browsing of the shelves so we can spot some bits and pieces. So if there's anything that you spy, you can can see if it makes it into my basket and into the hall and then I will go through and show you all of the bits and pieces that I bought from Poundland. The store that I went to was the one in Stratford. It's quite a big Poundland there. And they've got things like the Pep & Co clothing range in that store and they've also got the frozen food. Yes, frozen food. Did you know that Poundland do frozen food and also the chilled food cabinets in store as well. They've got safety measures in place such as hand sanitizer at the doors. They've got floor markings to help us keep our distance and they've also got protective barriers at the tills as well. For those of you who haven't been out to the shops in a while, I recommend going at the quieter times of the day. Mid mornings usually quite quiet as is mid afternoon throughout the week and some Poundland stores are open quite late into the evening so sometimes it's worth going in that last kind of hour of opening time. But yeah, I had a really good look around in store and I was very excited to see all the new things they have in Poundland. So let's take a look at some of the things that I spotted on the shelves. Poundland is a great place to pick up things like your toiletries. I absolutely love the Pep & Co homeware range in store. I'll often snap items from this range for my home Instagram account. So if you're not following me over there, make sure you do. That's where I'll always share my bargains with you. Poundland is a great place to pick up your practical items as well. Any bits and pieces for the kitchen, they will sort you out with those. Poundland have a great range of cleaning products, including the new Fabulosa Tropical ranges. And I love their DIY section. It's really handy to pick up bits and pieces for all those jobs around the house. They've even got these paints in store at really reasonable prices. At this time of year they've got a fab outdoor and gardening range, everything that you might need for your barbecue, including barbecues. They also have some really lovely pieces for the garden. And I was really impressed by their Pep & Co fashion. I spied a few bits that I thought you would be interested in. And in larger Poundland stores, you will now find a frozen food section, which is really handy, as well as a chilled section. So they have some brilliant food choices in store as well. There we go, as you can see, they had some fab stuff in store. So now it is time for me to show you everything that I bought. So we'll have a quick sip of the coffee 
and then we'll get into the haul. I don't know why I did that, like you're going to be drinking out of my mug, but I hope you've got <laughs> something on the go. Right, should we start off with some food bits that I bought? I've already been at these because they were too delicious not to get involved with on the way home. These are new Mars Soft Baked Double Chocolate and Caramel Cookies. And they're these really soft and squidgy ones. Let me just show you. This is what we're working with. <laughs> How about that? I'm going to put these down and get involved with them when I finish filming. <laughs> I also picked up a four pack of Diet Coke. This was two pounds. I just find these handy to have in the fridge for those days where you find yourself flagging. You know those sort of days that I mean? Get to 3 p.m., Diet Coke break. Next up, now this is exciting. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite things first just because it's quite big. So we'll get this out of the way. How about this? So this is a garden mirror. It's 52 centimeters by 37 by 2.5 centimeters, in case you were wondering. And this is a beautiful garden mirror. It's got this kind of distressed design going on. And this was six pounds, which I think is an absolute steal. I love that. It's got a few little specks on it. That's just where it rained on the way home today. But yeah, I'm really pleased with this. Nice and sturdy as well. And I think this will look lovely out on the roof garden. So when I put it out there, I'm going to take a photograph and show you, and you can let me know what you think. It says it's weatherproof as well, but I think also you could use this indoors. Why not? You could prop this up on the side. Imagine this with a couple of pillar candles in front of it, reflecting in the glass. That would look fab. It'd look quite nice up on the mantel. There, see? <laughs> Imagine it there. Very nice, six quid. Can't go wrong with that. I've got cramp in my hip. You know when it just gets you? Oh. Get old. I had some other really nice mirrors in store and this one caught my eye. I thought this looked quite trendy. What do we think? It also looks slightly like a donut, but this was only one pound, which I thought was fab. As well as this one, they had a kind of pink one with more like a sort of sunburst kind of design. And they had one more color as well. I think maybe gray with kind of like the sunburst thing going on. This also reminds me of that wallpaper. You know, that kind of textured wallpaper that you get in episodes of Homes Under the Hammer. It kind of reminds me of that. So kind of retro, maybe like 70s style. What do we think? I thought that was quite cool. And yeah, for one pound as well, I thought that was brilliant. Another thing I think you're going to absolutely love is this lantern. So this was six pounds and it's made out of wood which has been painted white. They also had it in black as well. And then inside of here, we have a glass container to put our candles into and it has a handle as well. And I just thought the quality of this was really good. I thought this would look really nice in a living room, just by the sofa, imagine that, or by the fireplace, but also quite a nice one to take outdoors as well. So like on a outdoor table where you've got the chairs around it. On a summer's evening, this will look absolutely fab. And I've had a try with this and lit the candle. And when you light the candle in this, it sends out a really nice pattern around it. Also with the garden in mind, I picked up one of these candle holders. Now when I saw this on the shelf, I didn't realize that this was glass. I thought this was just plastic packaging holding the candle holder, but then I realized that this part is in fact all glass. So you could also use this as a vase, which I think would look really nice. Imagine that with just some roses in it. But you have the option to put the candle holder inside and use this, and then that will stop the wind getting to the candles. So you can put the citronella ones in there. Yeah, when you light candles outside, they blow out, don't they, really easily. So <laughs> this hopefully would prevent that. And I think this will look really nice once all the candles are lit in there. And I think you could just use this on its own as a centerpiece on your table. And you could also, because it's circular, pop a little wreath around this. Be careful if you're using real candles, obviously, but imagine this with the wreath around it in the middle of your table, really nice. And then you could use this separately as a vase. But yeah, if we are going outside, we'll pop the citronella ones in here and we will be good to go. I think that looks really nice. And then they reflect really nicely in the glass too. I think that is brilliant for three pounds. And I spotted these slippers, which I've actually picked up to use when I go and stay in hotels because recently, yeah, hotel carpets, they're not a vibe, are they? And I've been taking my Uggs with me. I've actually even worn them on the train recently, but I thought these would be quite good to take just because they're very lightweight. So these will take up no room in the suitcase. 
and it just means that I've always got a pair of slippers with me if I'm staying in hotels. And they're just this really nice waffle style fabric. They had some really fab cushions in the Pep & Co home range and I picked up this one for my sister. You may have seen a while back I did a makeover at my sister's place and I thought this would look really nice on her sofa. This one was £5. They had this in different colours as well. They had it in kind of like a creamy colour and they also had it in grey as well so some quite nice neutral tones but I thought this pink was really good and with the tassels on it I thought that was really good value. They also had macrame style cushions as well which I thought were really nice too. And it's nice and plump as well and also the cover zips off so you can pop that in the washing machine which is always good. From the same range I picked up this tassel dream catcher. This was £2 and I thought we might have some fun trying to do a little kind of DIY with this one. I thought we could play around and maybe try changing the colours of this by dyeing it. And I also thought if you're not a fan of the tassels, you could switch this up and add some macrame cord or some wool or even just some ribbons or strips of fabric that you've upcycled and hang those down instead because you've got a really nice base here and then you could switch this part up. I thought that's really cool. And for that price, we could get two and be Pat Butcher. What do we think? I've got a few more bits for the garden, including this crackle glass wall light. It's solar powered and it's warm white. And I just really liked the crackle glass on this. And I thought this would look really nice next to your door, or you could also put it next to maybe a garden shed. It comes with the screws to attach it as well, and then you just slot it on. Now, you know I love a plant pot, so we have some good plant pot options. I'm very impressed with the range this year. First of all, we have this hanging one. This is £1.50 and it has this really nice geometric design design to hang the pot in and this would be really nice for trailing ivy or any trailing plants that you might have and I guess you could switch out the pot as well if you wanted to add a different one into there and use that for something else. They had this style in a few different colours and I really like this colour. It's kind of like that terracotta colour isn't it which I think is really nice. I like these warm earthy tones and these buckets are really handy, great for putting plants in but also nice little storage solutions as well if you want to organise bits and pieces in these and only one pound each. I guess you could also use this as a bucket it to take to the beach to build sandcastles with too. And then for £3 they have this style with the metal legs and they have this one in a few different colours as well. And I think for £3 this is really good, really nice stylish piece and I like how simple this pot is. I like the fact that it's not curved or anything. Love that. And then another hanging planter option. So this one is quite long with the string and it is this metal design. Really nice and £1.50. I just love the kind of brass effect of this one. I think that will look really nice hanging up with some trailing ivy in or something similar. And I guess if you wanted to, you could switch out the string and do your own macrame if you're brave enough. You know that I haven't had <laughs> much luck with macrame in the past, but yeah, that could be an option. But my favorite plant pots they've got in store at the moment are these ones. Really nice, simple, stylish, concrete plant pots. I love these. I think these are really nice for outdoors or indoors. These are three pounds each and I just think these look so good. Really nice quality, really big size, and they come in two different shapes as well. They're really heavy, and they've got the square one too. So I thought those were brilliant for three pounds. You could put a few of these in a row on a window ledge, maybe three of these square ones. I also thought you could turn these upside down because so they don't have drainage holes in them and actually use them as kind of like little plinths. <laughs> so you could maybe stack a couple of them up, maybe go square, round, and then square again. And then we've got this kind of really ornate, expensive looking plinth that you could then put a vase of flowers on the top of. Or with the square ones, we could stack them up this way and create some kind of shelving. Imagine that. But also we could use them as some bathroom storage. I thought they would look quite nice. They're quite heavy, but I just thought on the shelf in the bathroom, these would look class. And they'd be quite good for storing things like hair straighteners in, because then if they're hot, you could just throw them in here and not worry about burning anything. So yeah, lots of options with these. I think these are probably one of my favourite items. Let me know at the end, by the way, what your favourite item is from this haul. Next up we have this tray. This is only £1 and a really nice thing to serve nibbles on, <laughs> I'm thinking. They had the plates that match this, which I already have. And this tray is new this year, I think, as part of that range. They've also got bowls in the same design. It's made of plastic, so good for using outdoors. And just a really nice kind of design, I thought. I'm thinking a platter of sausage rolls. If you are planning any picnics or any outdoor gatherings or any outdoor celebrations, they've got loads of brilliant things in store. I spotted these, which are kind of like gin glasses, I guess, or very large wine glasses, or 
put squash in there, put whatever you like in here. But I thought these were good for one pound. Again, I thought these looked really stylish. Imagine them with this set. Goes quite nicely together, doesn't it? And yeah, good size as well. So whatever it is that you're drinking from this, you're gonna get a nice big measure of it. And plastics are great for using outdoors or if you're just clumsy. And if it's Prosecco o'clock, we have an option for that as well. They had these really nice flutes with the kind of copper trim on them and you get four of these, they're reusable for one pound. So really nice for picnics or outdoor celebrations. And they've got a really good range of party decorations. I got this party time sign, which I thought goes quite nicely with those glasses. This is one pound. They also had it in silver as well. And then they do these foil confetti balloons as well and you get 10 of those for a pound. And I spotted this Hessian bunting in the camping section, and this is one pound, and I thought this would be a good one to do a little DIY with. You could maybe print some letters out onto the Hessian to spell out something, or you could dip it in paint or something like that. So maybe we'll do some DIY soon. So let me know if you want some DIYs. Give the video a thumbs up, and if we get to a 1,000, I think we'll get some Poundland DIYs coming soon. But yeah, you get eight of these flags and it's 2.5 meters. It looks really nice just as it is as well, doesn't it? But yeah, I thought that was very good. And they've got all sorts of camping stuff in store as well, including things like tent pegs or other camping equipment that you might need. They also have some really good gift wrap and greetings cards in store. And I spotted this bag that says celebrate and it has a bottle on it. And I thought this is quite a good one to have handy because it will do for kind of any gift, congratulations, birthday, whatever it is, just pop a bottle in there and you are good to go. And I also picked up this gift bag, which I just thought was really nice and stylish. It's black with copper stripes going through it. And I thought this would be really nice to pop a gift into. I just thought that was a really nice quality gift bag for one pound and with the black ribbon as well. A couple more bits for the garden. They had this bug hotel for two pounds, which I think is such a good price. Really nicely made. It's all made of wood and yeah, really good size as well. So I thought that would be nice to hang out on the roof garden. And I got some of these heavy duty gloves, which are really handy, thorn resistant, so good if you are out in the garden doing some gardening, but also if you're shifting things about, I might even take them when I do a bit of skip diving. And also for when I'm doing any DIY and moving things around with the loft renovations coming up, these will be really handy for that. So a good thing to keep for the garden of when you're doing those sort of jobs around the home. I love their stationery section, but I was quite restrained, but I did pick up a couple of my favorite Sharpies, which are these ones because they are the double-ended ones. They've got the fine tip as well as the thicker tip. Really handy for labeling things around a home or for work or all sorts of things you can do with these. But yeah, really handy things to have. These are one pound each. And they have a really good craft section in store as well if you're into your crafts, card making, they have loads of wool, they have pom-pom makers, lots of sewing things as well if you're into your needlework. And in that section, I picked up these scissors, which I thought looked quite good. They're just small all-purpose scissors. Sometimes these small pointy ones are quite good for getting a neat, um, cut on things, aren't they? So I thought those would be handy to add to my craft supplies. Still got a few more items to go. I'm going to finish with a 50p bargain item. So do stay tuned for that. But the next thing I've got to show you is this light. So this is a little torch and it kind of folds out like that. They had this in different colors and this is kind of good if you're doing jobs around the house and you're in a dark corner. So good thing to keep in your toolbox again. It's battery operated and this will just give you a nice bright light that you can position wherever you're working. So might be a handy one to keep in the car as well if you're going camping. Just the fact that it will stand up like that is really handy. You could also then hang it up as well. So really nice handy little torch, all sorts of things that we can use that for. I'll always pick up some batteries when I'm in Poundland and I picked up these Kodak ones. You get 30 for two pounds of the AAs and you also get 30 of the triple A's for two pounds as well. Always handy to have around the home. See that I've popped one out because I've got one in the microphone. I went for this pizza tray, which is just really handy to have, and this was two pounds. They've also got some really nice oven-proof dishes and some casserole dishes, and they've got some really nice crockery in store as well, including plain white porcelain options. I didn't really need any new cleaning supplies, but I did spot this, which is the Bathmatic Duo Clean Sponge, your bathroom friend. It says dual action, wipes and cleans. So this has two sides to it. It has this side. So I'm guessing this is good to go around the kind of tide mark 
on the bath. And it has this chamois surface for drying and polishing without smears that you can use on mirrors and chrome. So yeah, if I recommend this, I will let you know in a future cleaning video. I got a Twin Peaks because no visit to Poundland is complete without one of these falling into the basket. And I went for the Honeycomb Crisp one, which is delightful. And then I spotted these storage boxes. These are five pounds each. They're quite a nice fabric, kind of like a Hessian kind of woven style fabric on these. And the colour of this, I would say, is kind of like a greige. That's probably the best way I can describe it to you. So non-offensive. It's the kind of thing that you can just pop in a corner of the home. Really good for quick tidying. So things like this, I think, are really good to throw things like children's toys into or items of your wardrobe that perhaps you're not wearing at the current season. So you could put things like bulky knitted jumpers or coats into one of these and just get them out of the way. So if you are looking for a bit of additional storage, these can be a good shout and quite a nice way to do quick tidying where you just shove it all in no one can see it. I was telling my good friend Kate McCabe who's also doing a Poundland haul by the way so her video will be up on Friday so I'll link Kate's channel in the description box down below and if you haven't subscribed to her already make sure you do she does loads of fab hauls but I was saying to Kate that I think I'm going to use this as my haul box so when I've bought some things that I'm going to be showing you I'm going to keep them all in here until I film the video. So this is now my haul box, but yeah, really good for a fiver, I thought. I'm not sure that this is sturdy enough to sit on, but I think it's definitely sturdy enough to put your feet up on, or to put a tray on and you could put like cups of tea down on it or something like that. So it could double up as a bit of a side table or a coffee table as well, if you're after one of those. I bought a reusable bag. It says, be your own kind of wonderful with these butterflies on it. And they have loads of these in store, all at one pound and loads of different designs to choose from. But this was just the nearest one to the till. so. That's what we went for. <laughs> and finally, my 50p bargain item is this photo frame. This was two pounds, part of the Pep & Co home range, and this is now down to the bargain price of 50p. Really nice design on this one with the kind of tile effect and the little gold spots on there. You could pop a photo in there and that would make a really lovely gift for somebody. But yeah, that is everything that I've got to show you from Poundland. So let me know in the comments which item that I've shown you was your favorite. Mine are the concrete plant pots, I think, or maybe the garden mirror, or maybe the lantern. One of those. Then again, for 50p, you can't go wrong with that photo frame, can you? But yeah, let me know what your favorite was. If you are new here, don't forget to click subscribe for new videos every single week. And if you enjoyed this Poundland haul, and if you would like to see some Poundland DIYs in a future video, then make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if we get to a thousand, I will be sure to do some Poundland DIYs very soon. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget you can always catch me over on Instagram. It's Mr. Carrington, or Mr. Carrington Home is my home account, and that is where I will snap any bargains that I spy in store. So follow me over there, and anything that doesn't make it into my baskets when I do these hauls will usually be snapped and put on my stories there. And thank you again to Poundland for sponsoring today's video. I thoroughly enjoyed my shopping experience in the store in Stratford, and yeah, I'm really pleased with everything that I've picked up. Oh, and if you pick up anything in Poundland and you want to share it with me, don't forget you can always tag me in your pictures over on Instagram too, because I love seeing what bargains you pick up too. But yeah, that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Enjoy the rest of your day or evening, whatever you're up to, and I'll see you very soon. Bye!